If you want to challenge yourself, this is a board that is a little harder. In this case, we're still looking for the word so. However, um, when your algorithm finds the first S, it wouldn't be able to find an E adjacent to this S. And therefore, your algorithm would have to remember that we have attempted this S and it doesn't work and it would proceed to look for the next available S. In this case, we do find S and adjacent to it, we will find E and W. And therefore, the word so is found. Let's take a look at the algorithm in action. So we would first look for an S, and in this case, because we're starting, the algorithm would start from the first character and iterate downwards, we would find this S at 0, 1. But because we don't find an E adjacent to this S, we would then backtrack and look for another instance of S. Now we find this S here at 2, 2. Um, and then we would proceed to find E and W adjacent to um, each other. A more com complex example would be tone. In this case, we would first find T over here, and then an O, and then an N, but we don't find any E's adjacent to this N, and therefore your algorithm would have to backtrack to O, Look for another new n. Since this n has been used, we wouldn't be able to use this n. Um, L, A, G in this case, and a T. So there is no n. So we would then backtrack again to T and look for a new O. This O has been used. Um, there are no other O's around T, and therefore we would then backtrack out and look for a T somewhere else. We would find a T here. And then we would proceed to look for an O, and then we would find an N, and then we would find an E. So let's take a look at the algorithm in action. Tone found at 12020313, which is here, 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 and here. As you can see, we first start off by looking for a T, and we would find T at 30. In this case, X is three and zero represents the y coordinate. In this case, you know, uh, the y coordinate is zero, one, two, three. A little inverse, but that's how um, I wrote my algorithm. And then we would find O. We do find O, and then we'll proceed to find N. We don't find any E's adjacent to this N, and therefore we would move back to this O and look for an N, a new N. We don't find a new N, so we would then backtrack to T and to look for an O. We don't find any new O's, and therefore we would look for a new T. In this case, we would find a new T, and then it would just be simple. Um, look for an O and an N and an E, and tone would be found. Um, another interesting example would be so-so. So I'm not exactly clear on the rules of Bogabot, the real Bogabot. Um, but in this case, if we look at this board, we have a so here, S-O. But we don't exactly have a so-so that exists independent of each other. Um, so you want to write your algorithm in such a way that you would first find an S and then you would find an O, but you can never use the same S again. Um, and therefore, so-so does not exist. 